a big win for Middletown. Today, the U.S. Department of Energy announced a $500 million grant for the Middletown Works steel plant. WCPO 9 I-Team reporter Dan Monk says it could have a ripple effect on Ohio's green economy. Not only will Middletown continue producing steel, but it will be advanced steel. It will be green steel. It will be the steel that is in demand across the world. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm traveled to Middletown Monday to announce a clean energy solution for one of Ohio's dirtiest industrial plants. What we really want for this to be is a pilot that can be demonstrated at other industrial facilities so that they can learn from what's happened here at Cleveland Cliffs. The company that bought the former AK Steel plant in 2019 wants to invest $1.3 billion over five years to replace its coal-burning blast furnace with one that burns natural gas or hydrogen. The project will create 1,200 construction jobs and 170 permanent jobs. It'll also protect the 2,500 jobs already in place. These jobs are important. Emissions are a killer. Lorenzo Gonzalez is CEO of Cleveland Cliffs. But they are a killer for the, the communities in which these plants exist. The environmental group Industrious Labs says Middletown Works is one of the state's highest emitters of particulate matter, or soot. Only power plants release more. But the hydrogen furnace won't just reduce the use of coal by Cleveland Cliffs. Consalva says it will also eliminate the need for a Sun Coke facility that supplies the Middletown Works with Coke, an ingredient that purifies steel. The days of Coke in Middletown are numbered. Replacing it could be new suppliers of hydrogen, which the Biden administration is also subsidizing through the Inflation Reduction Act and bipartisan infrastructure law. Okay, well, what does this have to do with in inflation reducing prices? Well, listen, if you have an economy that is going gangbusters, that reduces inflation. If you reduce the deficit, that reduces inflation. In Middletown, Dan Monk, WCPO 9, I-Team.